Watch Harrisburg School District's update on summer learning opportunities for students in grades K through 8, offering fun and innovative learning in science, technology, engineering, math, and the arts, plus enrichment and credit recovery classes for students in grades 9 to 11. I am here to tell you that at Harrisburg School District, our students are not gonna stop learning and we're not gonna stop planning. Um, we have a big picture plan to share with you tonight about what we're going to work on this summer. It will include um, areas and opportunities for all levels, as you see here, K to eight, and then summer enrichment and credit recovery at the high school as well as a summer bridge program for grades nine and 10. So our overall goal is really, we want to provide opportunities to re-engage our students while also addressing some of those high priority focus standards and working through any credit needs and also pulling in their interests. So we want it to be very engaging. We want it to be fun. And we feel like we have a plan in the works. The next slide will break it down into when um, and how these plans will take place. First, you're gonna see on this next slide, it's um, the K through eight plan. We're working on a six week plan, Monday through Thursday, nine o'clock till 12 o'clock. You see there's the first three weeks starting June 14th, ending July 1st, and then there'll be no sessions the week of July 4th, and then we'll pick back up July 12th, ending the 29th. Now we realize six weeks sounds like a long commitment, but it's very important that we offer the six weeks. We realize that there may be students that may go on a vacation or two, may need to miss a week, but we're going for the goal. We want to have participation all six weeks if possible. The next slide, we'll look at and again, this is just kindergarten through eighth grade right now, um, a plan for the structure of the day. And we pulled together administrators, one administrator from every building from the elementary and middle school level, and we did a think tank. And we said, how can we use this time most wisely while working on some of those high priority standards while still incorporating a lot of fun for the kids? So it is a jam packed morning. Um, we absolutely believe that it needs to start out with some type of social emotional learning, um, having the kids learn to get along, using some of what they're learning during their second step program. Then we're going to move into English language arts um, for 45 minutes. We have some breaks built in there, you can see. We have math built in. And then the last piece, um, we really want to make sure we pull in some STEAM activities. And for our younger kids, we felt it was important to pull into that dramatic play and fine arts. So again, there will be um, stories, read alouds, lots of other smaller components under those big headings. And that planning is um, still taking place. But that's the structure that we're looking at right now. For grades nine through 11, the summer enrichment, again, will be Monday through Thursday. This is a three week period two sessions per day. Um, you can see one in the morning and then one in the afternoon. The next slide breaks it down to show you what the structure of that could look like. We want to make sure we have enrichment opportunities, things that the kids are gonna be excited to come back to campus and do. Um, while also we wanna make sure that there's the opportunity for those students who, who need to earn some extra credits or credits that need to be recovered, that we're offering that. At this moment, um, we are offering, we're looking to offer both virtual and in-person options, but it will depend once we send out the registration and see the number of students and where we are with our COVID and all of our safety procedures. Um, and then the last piece there, you can see students will have the opportunity to enroll in a maximum of two sessions um, at the high school level. And then the next slide just really gives the dates for Summer Bridge. And um, from what I hear, I haven't experienced it yet, but from what I hear, this um, Summer Bridge planning is a pretty exciting time for, used to be just for ninth grade, 
at each of the high schools. But since we feel like, not we feel like, we know that this year our current 10th graders did not get to experience that, um, it, it was discussed that we need to do it for both. So um, the campus has all worked out their, their times and we will have more information on that as it's fleshed out further. The next slide just looks at, so what are we thinking about as far as our staffing needs? Um, we really felt it was important to make sure we have one overall district coordinator who's going to oversee all of these pieces. And then each of the sites will have a site coordinator and we will have teachers obviously running the sessions. Um, we did hold the interviews for some of the district coordinator and site coordinator positions and the energy and excitement about um, these summer offerings was evident in everyone that we talked to. So I'm feeling super excited for this opportunity for our students. And then this last slide just has some of our next steps, what we still need to do. Um, we will be sending out a flyer yet this week to communicate the K-8 piece and then followed by the high school piece. Um, and then registration will open up next week. We'll have it open for a two week period. And then in the meantime, once we have our district coordinator hired and our site coordinators hired, we want to pull them into the planning pieces. We have so many ideas. They're the ones that we're going to be on site implementing. So we feel it's important to have them at the table early on. We will have our um, hiring recommendations for the May board meeting and any other um, resources that we plan to do. We are definitely um, we'll hold an orientation for the, the staff involved and training prior to it starting. So um, stay tuned. We're very excited and we, we hope to get lots of students um, involved in this opportunity. This has been a presentation of the Harrisburg School District.